Hi, I'm Aiden from Mid-Atlantic Water, and today we're gonna to talk about iron filters. Now you may not realize this, but those orange-brown stains you see in your toilet, that may be iron in your water. Here are some signs of iron in your well water. First and foremost, brown stains in your toilet. Brown or orange stains in the tub or the shower you use most often. And if you have white laundry that you're doing that day and it comes out dingy with brown splotches on it, you have iron in your water. And here's one that's gonna irritate the ladies the most. If you have light color or blonde hair and it starts to turn orange, you have iron in your water. So now, the first thing we need to do is get that water tested. Either call a state certified lab to have it done, which is gonna cost you money, or you can go to Lowe's or Home Depot and get a home water test kit, and they're pretty accurate, and that'll tell you how much iron you have in the water, as well as what your pH is, because we have to have a balanced pH in order to correctly remove iron from the well water. If you're worried about testing the water yourself, these home test kits are really simple to use. Just follow the instructions on the packaging, and in a few minutes, you'll know exactly how much iron you have, what the pH is, and how hard the water is. So once you get your test kit back, the first thing you wanna look at is what the pH level is. Because in order to correctly remove iron from your well water, you need a pH of between seven and eight on the pH scale. Then we're gonna look at how much iron you have in your water, because that's gonna determine what size system you need to install in your house based on parts per million of iron, number of people in the home, and how many bathrooms you have. Now that you've gotten your water test back, and it, it's positive for iron, say you have 10 parts per million of iron in your water, an iron filter is gonna take that 10 parts per million out and give you good, clean water to do your laundry, cook food, drink, and bathe in. In our iron filter, we use a product called Catalox Light. And in the 30 years I've been in the industry, I've tried everything, berm, manganese, green sand, carbon, nothing works like the product we use, which is Catalox Light. And we have different size tanks from 1.5, 2.0, up to 3.5. So that's why you wanted to get that water test done so we can determine and correctly recommend the proper size iron filter for your household. Here's how Catalox Light works. As water passes through the tank, it pulls out iron, sulfur, and manganese. Iron is your main concern. Some wells have manganese, which stains like iron, but it's more of a grayish black stain. And that sulfur odor, that rotten egg odor you get on wells, it's gonna knock that right out. Now here's one of the big benefits, other than amazing iron removal, Catalox Light, the way it's designed, it will raise your pH. If your pH is at 6.0, it's gonna easily raise it to between seven and eight on the pH scale, which is where you need to be to correctly remove iron from your water. I can't tell you how many people have called me and they had somebody say from Culligan come out and they just sold them a water softer to remove 10 parts per million of iron and it worked well for a while, but then it stopped because the pH wasn't correctly balanced in order to keep removing that iron. You can't use a water softener to remove iron over a long period of time because Iron will have an effect on the resin beads in the softener, and over time it'll start losing its power to take a recharge from the salt solution and remove that iron from the water. That's why Catalox Light in the past 30 years has been the, our number one choice for iron removal. Now you know what type of filter you need and you're getting ready to place an order but you don't know what size. If you have four to six people in your home and you have 20 parts per million of iron, we would recommend the 2.5 cubic foot Catalox Light filter. If you're two people in the home, you don't have much water and you've got the same amount of iron, you can go with a 1.5 cubic foot, save yourself a few hundred dollars or so, and it'll knock the iron right out. There are two basic examples, but here's the thing. Catalox Light, whether it's a 1.5, 2.0, or 2.5, is gonna remove up to 30 parts per million of iron, 15 parts per million of manganese, and up to 10 parts per million of sulfur in the water, which is that rotten egg odor. And regardless of what size tank you use, it's gonna raise and balance your pH so you get proper removal of iron from your well water. So 1.5, 2.0, 2.5, they all had the same rating. Now, from our experience doing local installations here in Maryland and all the systems we ship to all the lower 48 states across the country, most people choose the 2.5 because it gives them more capacity. You'll get longer media life, up to eight years before you have to change it. There's no annual maintenance on the unit. Basically, you install it, set the time of day, and you're done. Thanks for watching. I'm Aiden from Mid-Atlantic Water. If you want to contact us, all our information is in the description below. See you in the next video.